What's the deal, man? It's your boy. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. We feel to be breaking down this future video called Posted with Demons, man. And we're going to be looking at the demonic nature of these lyrics, man, and how he's showing his allegiance to the dark side. Now, let's go ahead and dive deep into this view, uh, music video and to these lyrics, man. Now, straight out the gate, what do you see? Posted with demons. But not only that, you see the bodily fluid on the floor? Come on, man. Let's not sit here and play games and, uh, and act like we don't see the blood on the floor and posted with demons right on the screen. Like, I mean, come on, man. What else do you need to know? But I'm going to tell you like this. The devil leaves behind death and destruction, all right? And it causes a lot of confusion as well. And for them to put this in the music video straight out the gate is a telltale sign of how dark this music video is going to be. Now, I like to break down some of the music video um, as well as the lyrics. So this is like half and half, all right? Because y'all deserve the best. Now, we got to understand who be directing these videos because then we could trace back, you know, and, and go a little bit further. Like, okay, who put this all together? Who thought that this was a good idea to have these visuals put together like this in this type of fashion? All right. So it says directed by Daps. Now, I've seen that name a couple times. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you like this. Whoever this guy is right here, there's something about him that we don't know about. He has to be very 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 well connected as far as dark magic voodoo haitian uh, rituals you know what i'm saying even though the haitians used their spiritual practices right to defeat the french when they came over to try to take over you know what i'm saying so let's not get it twisted it's about your intention all right now you see the demon that he is going to be posted with or that is going to be with him, right, throughout the entire video. You also see right here the pyrotechnics, all right, in the back. Now, this is a reputation of flames in hell, okay? So I need y'all to understand that whenever you see pyrotechnics in the videos and it's very, like, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on, very chaotic and it looks hellish, that's because it is. And they don't want to necessarily put the flames in there. I mean, no, that's too telling. They want the people to know, to know. And the people that don't know, they want them to think. They want them to use their mind, in essence. You know what I'm saying? So, everything in this world is ran off of signs and symbols. And if you don't know, then you just not going to know. You know what I'm saying? Until you do your research. But I'm here to try to alleviate some of that for you. And uh, put it right here for you to, uh, to see, right? So that's what them pyrotechnics going off in the background represent. And then you see the anarchy going on with the blood all over the cop car. Okay. Um, you will always see this because it's always like this impending doom that's coming. That they show us every time in these music videos. As far as like destruction and the world ending and uprising and civil unrest. Okay. Now. This scene right here took me a while to catch, all right? And I mean that because they show it so fast and they do these things on purpose, man, so that it can go straight to your subconscious. This is what I'm telling you. If you go watch this video, man, you will see how fast they showed this right here. It's like you got to slow it down all the way as much as you can to catch it and pause it. Now, what is this a reputation of? Baal or Baal, okay, or Satan. It's all the same thing. Come on, man. Let's 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 not get confused here because the devil likes to use confusion. So so let's not get confused. Alright. Now, the reason why they put this here is because once again, they're going to be leading you to another pit of hell. To me, these are just all different stages of hell that are being represented and put out to you that they're showing. Now they show you full force where he at. Where is he at? He's in hell, man. And he's in the middle of the circle. All right. Now, like I said, the devil loves to confuse. Don't get it twisted. Circles are not bad. Triangles are not bad. You learn this when you go on your spiritual journey. You learn these things, right? And you think, damn, 
everything that they told us is not bad. It's just that their intentions on using these things are bad. So they keep people away from using it when we could be tapping into it and, and getting closer to the source. But that's another video for another day. So you see him in the middle of these flames, man. You see that he has this shirt and it's talking about um, the aliens are going to come or something like that. They always do this, man. It's just all an agenda and propaganda to get us ready, subconsciously, programmed and ready for when these things happen, okay? Because these folks already know the plays that's coming. And then you see the red all around. Like, what else do you need to know uh, uh, if you don't understand that these folks is, like, showing you, hey, I'm in hell. This is what I'm all about. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like, if you're not putting two and two together, then that's fine to them because it's like, well, I showed you that I was a part of this. I mean, did you not see my music videos? Did you not listen to my lyrics? Just like when Lil Uzi Vert told everybody at his concert, if you're not going up in the sky right now, disappearing, then you're in hell right with me. Too late. What you didn't hear the song, you played it a million times and you still didn't get it. Oh, I'm sorry with his own little zesty self. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. You have to take this stuff just as serious as they take it as far as showing you what type of time they own. Okay, we can't just sit here because this is your favorite artist, your favorite celebrity or whatever. That's cool, whatever, you know what I mean? Just get in tune. Don't get consumed. That, that's all I'm saying. Just get in tune. Don't get consumed because the minute you get consumed by this stuff, man, is the very minute that this will take you over completely got to be careful all right now they are doing a whole like ritual right here before your eyes and a lot of people you know what i mean this will go right over your head now there's like two gentlemen right there's two gentlemen here playing with this uh fire you know what i'm saying and then they got this bowl with a bunch of things burnt inside of it. So you can see that they're making an offering, right? And then I'm like, okay, so they making this offering. Are they making like a blood pack? Because that show looks like what they doing. And then they got future in the middle. So they showing you who they finna sacrifice. They showing you who's, who's finna be this sacrificial lamb. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, <laughs> you gotta understand. Like, this stuff be right in your face, man. They fit to make a sacrificial offering, man. Okay, these folks playing with straight magic. Dark magic, black magic, voodoo, whatever you want to call it. They got the illest intention to use these things, man. And to make sure that they get all the temporary material gain of this world that they possibly can. Now, you're going to see another level of hell, right? You want to see another level of hell. And one thing that I wanted to show you, right, to let you know that he is definitely posted with demons, is look at the dude hanging out the damn tree. Dude hanging out the damn tree upside down, man. Showing you the inversion. Because everything that these folks do <coughs> is very inverted. It's backwards. I mean, Alistair, Alistair Crawley, man, um, said that you should be able to read backwards, talk backwards, and walk backwards everything should be inverted man you see what i'm saying and that's what these folks be doing and this is another telltale sign to show you as above so below you see what i'm saying and they clearly showing you that and i think that this could possibly be a reputation of the lowest part of hell because you see the blue color scheme and this is where the devil resides he doesn't reside in a hellfire pit. No, 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 no. If you're thinking about Dante's Inferno, right? Do you know that there's layers to this? And he's at the um, the lowest part, which is frozen over. I remember playing the video game Dante's Inferno, and it was very telling. All right. Now, this part right here, right? You see the woman right here with her eyes changed over. Now, this is a clear sign of demonic possession. All right. And this is like that astral projection, outer body experience where these folks make these blood packs and these deals with these devils and demons, gin, whatever you want to call it. Right. Like this is a clear indication of that. 
that he has crossed over and has made that blood pack deal with these devils and demons, man. Like, you got to be careful when you watch these videos because they go straight to your subconscious. You're going to hear me say that a lot here on this platform. Now, this is going to be one of the last slides that I break down while doing this video, but we're still going to be breaking down the video and breaking down the lyrics as well. But I just wanted to let you know, <clears throat> before getting into these lyrics, how demonically infused that this dang song is, man, and this video is specifically. Now you see the three candles right there, and then you see the skull, man. You see what I'm saying? Do you see the demon standing right there? All right, and then you see the demon shadow in the back. Now, I want to point out that shadow, right? Because that's representing the spirit. All right. Whenever you see like a silhouette of these people, or they're shown like like as far as like um, like take for instance the Aaliyah video right and they show her in the water and she's dark you can't see her or you or, or they see her uh, uh when she's walking up from the water onto the beach and and it's like her silhouette she's blacked out that's that's the spirit that they're showing you right rest in peace to Aaliyah, man you know what i'm saying now let's break down these lyrics it basically says devil want my soul but i can't level go uh, but i can't let it go devil want my soul but i can't let it go so he's like torn in between the two. But you clearly see that he that he done already sold out. It's too late. A lot of people sell their souls, man, in this industry. And they be like, I don't want to let it go. I want to keep my soul and still do what I, what, what I want to do in this industry. And it just don't work like that, man. There's principalities that come with this stuff, man. Yo ass be bound to this stuff, man. Deeper than you can ever imagine, right? And then right here, I wanted to point out the mask. Because I just felt it very ironic how when he came out with that song, Mask Off, not too long after that, you know, the shutdown happened. And I'm going to keep it at that. Now, with that being said, let's look at some more lyrics, right? He came, uh, he came, he offered me fame. But there's a price to pay. I can't change your life in a day. But I'll be counting your days. So he telling you. The devil came to him with an offer saying that he could make his life change in a day. Yeah, it's like overnight success for real. And he's showing you with the vow of silence right here with the, with, with the mask over the mouth that he's not going to be telling the secrets on how he got here. Oh, but I'm going to tell you. He made that blood pack. Right? <clears throat> now, once again, you see this as above, so below representation with one person standing upright and the other person hanging upside down, man. And then you see the red color scheme, right? The red symbolizes blood, sacrifice, anger, evil. All right? Now, one time offer, give you the world, make you a legend with tons of awards, right? Unlimited money. Unlimited doors of opportunity. A lot of applause. This is what the devil will tell you you will get if you just sign your name on this dotted line. Now, we got to understand, too, the devil is not somebody in a red suit with a pitchfork and a tail and horns. They depicted the devil in heaven <clears throat> as the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful angels. So I don't know where people keep getting this you know, idea that it's this red demon goblin looking thing. Because you might be entertaining demons and angels and not even know it. You see what I'm saying? Now, <clears throat> you see right here, this guy represented as a demon. How is he represented as a demon? Uh, back masking? Oh, clearly, because you see the eyes is blacked over. Now, usually you will see the entire eye blacked, but it's just his, you know, his regular eye, the regular part of the eye right now he's saying they want my soul a a a they want my soul it's too late it's not that they want your soul they got your soul now that's what the lyrics should have really said but i'm gonna tell you like this though them folks will come and approach you and tell you what they want and tell you what they can do for you if you just give it all up right I mean, your social media accounts will be ran by your management, a.k.a. your handlers. Everything you do will be handled by your handlers. 
you will be a piece of property. I mean, you already are. That's why we got birth certificates and social credit uh, and social security card numbers and things of that nature. But he just telling y'all that they want my soul specifically because when you get in this industry and you reach a certain level, they will come approach you, especially when you have a lot of influence like uh, Future does, promoting the uh, overuse of drugs agenda, okay? Now, you see this uh, this person right here, right, represented as a demon, uh, twisting and contorting her body. Whenever you see things like this, man, in these crazy type of videos, just know that it's representation of a demon or an evil spirit or a demonic spirit okay because it's not normal for a person or you know an angelic spirit to be twisting and contorting their body like that who you know and what you know that is a positive force and energy to twist and contort their body like this all right i thought so now really really i can't sleep lately really really i've been stressed lately really on that x pill lately escaping reality lately because they know that what they've done has changed the course of their life forever that's why he's stressed out and he can't sleep because these demonic forces and spirits are tormenting him did y'all hear about the story with lady gaga when she said she had to have her uh you know assistant sleep with her because she couldn't sleep because she was being spiritually attacked yeah these folks go through hell yeah these folks go through hell to get what they want now you see him once again represented sitting on that couch that red couch man showing you that he took the blood oath all right and yes a couple of people have passed away around future all right foxy i did a breakdown on him rest in peace was associated with future and he passed away which i believe is you know mysterious circumstances if you want to check that out go to the black mirrors tv uh youtube channel now with that being said right He's saying, the devil be lurking. He want me in. You don't want to sell your soul, but see how you live. So he's basically telling you, like, the devil asked him, like, you don't want to sell your soul? Like, are you sure about it? But you see clearly, clearly, clear as day that, yes, he sold his soul. Right? Like, let's not be fooled here. Okay? Now, you see this mirror right here that he's showing you? This is him showing like how he be communicating with spirits. And I'm telling you right now, when these folks look into the mirror, they don't see what we see, which is our own reflection, right? These folks see demons, right? That's why a lot of times when you see these people's homes, you don't see a lot of mirrors hanging up. That's because they already know what time it is. They already know that they've opened themselves up to a demonic force and they don't like what they see in the mirror. OK, but he's showing you how he does his communication. He be opening portals. They say that mirrors are portals. All right. And then he ends off saying, devil want my soul. But I. what you mean? But I that's all you can say. But I. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you okay? So you basically telling me about by, by, by the end of the song, yeah, you gave it up. Oh, okay, devil want my soul, but I, yeah, but you couldn't resist it anymore. You couldn't resist the temptation. It was too much for you. You gave in. You folded. Now I felt it very, very, very suspicious, right? On how they just showed this mirror, and they see that they show you the candles, right? It's because this is a part of that spiritual practice and that dark magic and how these folks be conjuring up demons and devils, man, to come through these portals, whether they do it with a pentagram or do it through these mirrors. Man, this video is creepy, man. If you watch it with the, with, with the sound off, it will be hard to watch, man. I'm trying to tell you because that's what I did when I was doing the, uh, research on this video, man. It was very creepy, had an om ominous feeling, very eerie. And I found it very crazy how when I tried to look up Christopher Race Boya, I could not find a trace of him because these are the writers of this very song right here. It's very, very, very important to look up who really be writing these songs. So you will be seeing me put this in here, too. 
try to look up Christopher Race Boyer. And if you find him, send it to my email at JNX85204. And that's all for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video with Future, man. Will y'all continue to listen to this man's music and watch his videos after today's video breakdown and lyric breakdown of Posted with Demons? I mean, he's literally telling you he sold his soul. He on the other side. And then I found it mighty ironic how they had Lil Uzi Vert standing in the middle of that uh, ring fire, too. If you watch this video, you will see that. And we all know that Lil Uzi Vert sold his soul a long time ago on that EXO Tour Life uh, music video he showed you. He did a whole rebirth ritual to the dark side. Let me know who you want me to do a lyric breakdown on next down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this breakdown in the comment section below. And y'all know what to do until next time. But if you don't, I'll be happy to tell you, man. Y'all stay humble. And y'all stay hungry, man. And I'm um, out! Oh! Caught me a ghost. I was already ahead of the wave. Now I gotta go out and buy me a boat.